Hey, what's going on, guys? Why are you dancing? Um, so we're going to do a short little video on a tool that we use a lot. My wife uses specifically. I use it a little bit. But um, one of the things that you find out really quickly when you start designing and you start collecting all of these fonts is your computer slows down a lot when you install all of the fonts all at once. Because what it does, it actually loads all those fonts all at once. And it kind of really slows things down, which when you're running Illustrator and Photoshop and some of these other design programs, can be kind of a hassle, especially, you know, booting up your computer, it's really, really slow. So we're going to display a program called FontBase. It's a font manager. And what it allows you to do is you can actually have all of these fonts on your computer and you don't have to install them. You can turn them on or turn them off as you need them, which makes it much, much easier to be able to manage your fonts, figure out which fonts look good. Um, it's a really cool program. It's, it's pretty slick. Uh, my wife discovered it. She's the one that actually found it and went through a bunch of different font managers. And for a Windows-based PC, this is the best thing that I found. There's some other ones for Macs that I know people are really passionate about, but for a Windows PC, to me, this is the best one that's out there. And it's pretty affordable, too. Mm -hmm. So, you ready? Should we talk about the... We'll talk about that at the end. We can talk now, so they, maybe they'll... Okay, sure. Um, so, I talked to Dominic over at Fontbase, and he has given us five codes for a yearly subscription. So, um, we'll tell you at the end how we can... Um, how you can, like, win that or whatever. Yeah, we're going to do a giveaway. Yeah, a giveaway. That's it. That's the word. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> okay. So you want to show people what it looks like? Yes. Okay. Font base. So when you open it up, it actually will always have, like, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. That's just, like, the standard whatever. Um, so if you open it up, if you're a subscri subscription member? Yeah, subscriber. Subscriber. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with English today. Um, it'll say become awesome. So um, that's also how you can upgrade your subscription too. You go up here and if it says become awesome instead of your email, then um, that's where you would sign in and or update your... Um, your user and password. Yeah, your user. Yeah. Why well, won't it go off that? Just click on it. No, see now it's going there. That's fine. Just close it. Okay. <sighs> okay. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so when you want to... Uh, when you're designing your shirt and you have like your saying or whatever you want on it, you would go in here and you can type it out up at the top. Design things. Okay. And sometimes another thing I like to do is see also what the font looks like in lowercase. Just, to, you know, to see if maybe it's something I want to mix up however I want to do it. So, and it sort of changes all the fonts throughout the program. This is currently showing all fonts over here, but I actually create collections to break it down, and this is how this helps me find fonts and really just create better designs. So you can create collections and you can name them whatever you want. I mean, most of these are not like technical font terms or no, whatever. No, this is how you think about the fonts. Yeah. So, um, like, if I'm doing, like, a sports theme, then I have all my sports fonts, and then, you know, I have, like, sans serif, script serif, like, the basic <clears throat> ones. Um, and so that's kind of how this helps me to stay organized. So let's say I wanted to do a sports shirt, then these are all of my sports fonts. And then it's, it breaks it down. You're not scrolling through a 1,000, 1,200, whatever fonts. Because, I mean, we have 1,400 fonts. I don't have time to scroll through everything to find the one that I right. think looks Right. Yeah, I mean, if, you, if you've used Illustrator or Photoshop or any design program, mm -hmm. right, you have all of your fonts installed. Mm -hmm. Literally, like, you're just your, your fingers on the mouse wheel. It's just scroll, scroll, mm -hmm. scroll, 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 scroll. And I feel like you miss things a lot of times. So it helps to be able to break them up into, like, ideas, at least, in terms of how you would think that you would use that font. Right. So, you know, I, I have all kinds of different um, sections or whatever. And so say I like I like this one, Blockhead. Okay. So um, right now it's not on because this circle right here is white. But if you wanted to use it, you would just click it and it turns green. And that means it will show up in your Illustrator, Photoshop, whatever you're using. So um, let's, I can show you how. So I have my Illustrator. My Illustrator open, and um, so I can highlight these fonts and say I'm gonna I'm gonna search for Blockhead, which was the name of that font, and see it says no results found. So I go to Font Base, 
I can click it. There we go. Oh my gosh, I'm having issues, sorry. And then I search for it. I'm gonna highlight my blockhead. And then it's there and I can click on it and then it changes my fonts there. So um, there are some fonts that I have on all the time because like they're my favorites or whatever. Like you don't have to turn them on and off. Um, you can just keep them on and like if it's something you use all the time. Um, and say you are searching for something and like you know the name of the font like um, like Indigo Summer is one of my favorites. So I can do Indigo Summer and then it will just bring up all of those fonts in that font family. So, I mean, there's just like all kinds of stuff and you can have your favorites here too. So they're easily, easily found as Yeah, well. it's, it's all about putting tools in your hands to make things easier. So yeah. enabling you to organize things, enable you to, you know, visualize things easier. You know, I, the thing I love about it is it's very customizable, right? Like mm -hmm. all of the little collections that she did, those are things that she created herself. Mm -hmm. And you get to be able to, you know, you literally like you just we download all of our fonts into a separate folder and keep it on Dropbox. Mm -hmm. And that's the other thing I love about it, because if our computer crashes, I never have to worry about trying to find those fonts again or reinstalling or everything else. Mm -hmm. Everything's stored in the cloud. Yeah. So I actually took the fonts that were out of like the computer font folder, like where you would, you know, because usually when you get a font, you like click install and then it like saves it into this folder. I actually like got rid of that folder and made my own folder and yeah, I put it on Dropbox. And that's the folder you actually drag into uh, font base. You like literally take it and drag it in here. And this is the folder right here is our fonts. And then it'll start like loading them into here. And the cool thing is too, if you get new fonts, right? And you, um, you know, take your font and you put it in that our fonts folder or whatever you call it, it will automatically show up in font base. You don't have to do anything. You just put it, put it in that our fonts folder or whatever you call it. <laughs> and it shows up like you don't have to shut the program down real. You don't even have to shut down illustrator, like nothing. It's just, it's there. So it's super easy to use. Um, and like, so for instance, I wanted to show you guys like how to, you know, do a, like create a collection or whatever. So let's say um, I wanted to create a new one called modern, right? You type it in and where it says new collection and hit enter. And then it's all alphabetical. So you just go up to modern, right? So if, if you're going through your fonts and you're like, okay, this one I like, I want to put this in my font, in my modern uh, collection folder, you just click, hold and drag it and then let it go. And then it's in your font, yeah, modern like, folder. Like most things with, with great design, this is very intuitive. It's very simple. Like, mm -hmm. that's my favorite thing about it. Like, she picked it up literally within 20 minutes of using it and was like, I love this thing. Because mm -hmm. she was very skeptical when I first tried to tell her about font management software. Yeah. Because she was used to doing things a certain way. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you right now, like, this will make a difference in your designs. It will make it easier to make great designs because font choice is really, really important. It's something mm -hmm. I don't think it's talked about enough. Yeah. Having the right font with your graphic is something that's really important. And if you don't, it makes it just the, the design is not cohesive. It doesn't look right. Right. Yeah. And because it's like my fonts, when I, when I'm putting fonts on my designs, my font is saying something about that design. So I, I like it that I can just organize them and they're easily, they're easy to find. Um, and it, I also like no fonts better because I can like, you know, put them in different folders and like, I it's just like, I don't know. It, it makes, it helps me to understand fonts a lot better as well. Um, but yeah, so say if you create this folder and you accidentally put something in here that you don't like, you literally just click drag and then it just goes away and it's not deleting it off of your computer it's or your program. It's just taking it out of that particular collections folder. It'll still be in like in your all section. So, um, yeah, I think is that about everything. Like literally yeah, like I mean... it, it's hard to make a long video about this because <laughs> it's, it's so easy to use mm -hmm. and it's so simple. And I just, it makes sense to us anyways. Mm -hmm. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. We're going to post this to the YouTube channel. We're also going to post it in the Facebook group, mm -hmm. uh, Merch by Amazon Masterminds. And if this is the first time you've ever actually seen our channel, do me a favor, click on the subscribe button 
you know, we are trying to do videos more often. I know we say that all the time, <laughs> but like legit, we, uh, there's a merch informer video that I want to do that I wanted to do for about three weeks now that I'm going to get out within the next couple of days. And so what do you want to do for a giveaway? Do you want to just randomly do it off of five people that comment? Yeah. I mean, I, I just, I think, should they comment in Facebook groups or on YouTube? On YouTube. Yeah, if you comment in, on the YouTube comments on the channel or on this video, just say like, I'm interested in the, the giveaway. The giveaway. So, um, and if you for some reason don't, um, win or whatever, or you can try this for free. Mm -hmm. So, um, the, the only difference between free and paid is that the collections won't stay there. They get like erased every time it like updates or whatever. So, um, but the collections is really like the bread and butter of, this of why I love this program, but you can at least try it out for free. And then if you want to, you can even do just a monthly subscription and try it out for a month with all of that for $3. Like it's only $3 a month. And, uh, the yearly subscription is 29. Right. And they have a lifetime price right now too of 180 bucks. Yeah. And honestly, we're probably going to spend the money on it because I don't see us ever using a different font management software. It's awesome. Yeah, I didn't even know they had the, the lifetime. I've been on the yearly. Yeah. So I was like, somebody was like, oh, they have a lifetime one. And I was like, what? So, but yeah, that's new. They keep adding stuff all the time. Um, Like they do updates like the inactive, active, this is new. Like they just keep improving it. So it's only going to get better. And, um, but yeah, I really recommend it if you're designing every day and, and, you know, want to make better designs. Yeah. And we're not getting paid for this. This isn't nope. an affiliate link or anything else. Like we just, we're honestly, we're showing the video because we're really, we think the software is awesome. And I think we think it'll help people. Yeah. He gave me five. I didn't take one. I'm giving away all five. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. so thank you guys. Uh, go ahead. And like I said, uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel and we should be having some more stuff come out soon. Bye guys. Bye.